Hi, welcome to Python tutorial of how to connect Python to MS Access database using PyODBC. So I'm going to start by clicking uh, closing this very output here. And let's go to file and open up new file right there. So the first thing I'm going to do is to import PyODBC. So make sure you you have PyODBC on your system. You can always install it onto your system. Now I'm going to say connect PyODBC. Okay, let's say dot connect. We're going to do that by using the following driver equals use a equals Microsoft Access Driver. Okay, and the next thing is right. So I've now specified the different types of uh, database file that can be called of uh, MDB or ACC. DB file extension right now let me look for my program that is the file I intend to call this very one customers so let's right click hold on to the shift key right click and we want to select the path copy part once the path is copied so in here we end up and say equals and we then paste the part that is copied that is it and that's the name of the file I intend to to use okay now we need to close that up all right so what is left now to do is we will now as the console let's do one thing first I'm going to so that I can know where I am. Let's say cursor equals connect dot cursor. So we will also have the cursor to dot execute and using an SQL we then say select from okay and that is going to be that now okay let's finalize that and close that now I'm going to now use a for loop for row int rule in castle dot let's fetch that and I'm gonna ask it to print print rule yeah okay that's fine now come up here and we'll move all of this back to where it used to be right I just did that so that you guys can see it and let's get this the indented okay it's here somewhere all right okay then the for loop itself we just indent that all right that is it so i'm going to go to file let's save us okay let's save it first that's my now let's go to the database and right here somewhere yeah okay i'm just going to select customer i'll just call that customer 2 and let's click on save 
all right so that is the file directory and I actually have the file here somewhere that is the file that I'm calling you can always hold on to the shift key right click and select copy parts if you don't know what to do and when you come in here you all you just need to do is paste and that is the part I'm going to undo that okay so let's save and run okay just before we run it let me show you guys the database itself here are the record I have inside my database okay we can even add one now all right I'm coming here what is the name of this guy I can just call fellow grace grace more and how many of those we have four and that we let's say that will cost grace about 200 and the cost of that is there uh the item let's say the item is uh is bags yeah and there so i'm going to save that so i want you guys to keep an eye on that and i also have four ddt here so if we come in here now save and run yeah and let's just click on that there we go those are the data on my database and I can open up the database itself so that you guys verify it so let's open up the database there we go look at the data that I have in there Grace Moore, Ashley, Johnny and so on so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now bye for now